So today, we're playing a Berserker, and we have two helpful goobers today. One's a king, the other's a cheese, and together, with Falcon Blade and Tarn Bloom, does some crazy things just like this. But we'll see. We do get our vulnerability, we do heal back up. We are stacking up our damage, we're stacking up spikes. We're stacking up our buffs. And honestly, this is looking pretty darn good. Our opponent's dealing that big, big damage, but we're sustaining them pretty nicely. But hey, check this run out, and let me know what you think of this build. Okay, okay, let's go and jump some games with the Berserker and see just what we can do today. Okay, pretty good job. Let's grab a broom. Oh, let's grab this Wall of Stones. Let's roll. We'll actually grab this wooden sword also. I was really hoping that we get a big open run. So I'm going to roll once. We're going to grab this Whetstone. We're going to be grabbing the Garlic. And we're going to want to preserve this Leather Armor. Pretty good job. Not going to lie. We're going to move on though. We could have sold our Wall of Stones to grab that Whetstone, but I do want to keep this... For now, and actually it doesn't matter in this fight because they're opponent rocking that short bow. So spikes don't really affect that range damage. However, awesome. Now they did start off with 20 more rocks life than us. We did a lot of damage to ourselves because of that Walter's Tusk. We're going to grab this. We're also going to grab our leather bag. I'm actually going to be super greedy. I'm going to sell our Walter's Tusk to grab this box of riches. So I do want to start getting some crazy, crazy gemstones potentially. But we'll see. Their opponent is rocking. They actually have that offering ball, so they're going to start off with one of power, which is going to increase weapon damage quite significantly. But it shouldn't be too bad with our setup to smash them down. Now let's take our armor. I'm actually going to take out our box of riches for now. Because I want to roll looking for that whetstone, and holy moly, did we find it? That is awesome. Now, actually, I'm going to be extremely greedy. Keep our box of riches in. Take out our garlic. We're going to reserve this Goobert's. We're going to add in the Goobert's. Next round, potentially, hopefully. However, we'll see can we beat this Reaper, they're going to be crabbing over that shovel, they're also going to have that spikes, so we're eventually going to be dealing quite a bit of damage to ourselves, yeah. but not too bad. Before they can proc it, we've managed to smash them down. Now actually, we're going to take investment opportunity, we're still going to grab Goobert because we're going to try go for King Goobert, potentially. Let's go ahead and grab it, let's grab a fanny pack. Unfortunately, we're going to be extremely greedy. We do not want to craft up the steel goberts. We should add our forging hammer to get that little bit of damage from our hero sword. But we're actually going to take it out for a box of riches. And we're going to move on. Yeah. We still want as much gemstones as possible. But we'll see. Our opponent is going to be extra angry. They're going to have two battle rages, basically. They're also going to have a ton of healing. They're also going to be scaling up that power, which means the room is going to be dealing quite a bit of damage. And also going to be flicking up blinds. We haven't flicked any blinds because they do have that leather armor which want to resist those debuffs. And we've used up our battle rage. They've just started theirs. And unfortunately, they managed to outpace this. Now actually, we're going to be taking this. We're going to be grabbing our gloves. We're going to be rolling. I think we're going to be selling our broom for now. And we're going to be selling this garlic. And I think we're going to grab this. We're going to grab this turn up for now. We're going to slot Goobert in this position. We're going to add in our investment opportunity, which will give us a ton more golds. We're again going to add in our box of riches. Let's add this in to reduce our opponent's healing even further. But well, let's move on. Now, our DPS should have increased quite significantly by adding in Tarnup. Our stamina is going to be a bit problematic, though. But we'll see. Our opponent has a ton of weapons. They're going to be dealing quite a bit of damage. But we do have that Dragon Slammer. We are stacking with a bit of spikes. We could have a bit of healing from our Goobert also. They don't have Dragon's Glamour. Yeah. So, smashing. Now we're going to grab this storage. Let's again take out our box of riches as we roll because I do want to find a pair of gloves. Let's keep it going for now. We don't want any of these items, so let's keep it going. That's a pair of gloves, which should be fantastic. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to have our setup like so, which is going to be problematic for right now. We'll have back in our box of riches. And we're going to move on. And once we get a Falcon Blade, we should be in a pretty good spot, but for now, it's going to have to be this way. But we'll see our opponent is rocking two Gooberts. They do have that Slime Slime. They're going to have the Skilling Damage on their Hunger Blade. They're going to have that bit of healing from the Gooberts, so this could be pretty bad, actually. Because we're not actually stacking up our Spike Generation because we increased the speed of our Hero Sword just a little bit too much, which means we're hitting with our Hero Sword rather than our turn up, which is really darn bad. And unfortunately, we're going to fail because of that. However, speaking of craziness, we can actually get King Gobert right now, which we're actually going to do. And I do actually want to continue 
get our box of riches. But we're gonna roll it once. We actually want this too. We're also gonna need the storage though. But we're gonna move on. And we'll see. Now, unfortunately, increasing the speed of our turn up actually is gonna eat up a lot of stamina also. So we are gonna need a Wobbertinger. We're gonna need a banana. We're gonna need a stamina pot. Something to keep our stamina up. Because right now, that is gonna be our major downfall. Especially going up against shields also. Which is gonna be super problematic. However, we do have that Bat Ridge, we do have the healing from our Guberts, we also have healing from our Glowing Crown, but still, it's not going to be enough, unfortunately. Losing to this setup is super, super unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now with this, I'm thinking about actually going to go for Shaman Mask instead, because Shaman Mask is going to be quite good with the investment opportunity. It also gives us a Badger Rune, or any sort of Rune, to be honest. So that is also going to be pretty darn good. So we're going to grab this, we're going to grab the badge rune, that way we use up a lot less stamina. We're going to add this back in. We're going to add in our falcon blade, let's slot this in like so. So this is going to use up our luck to generate up a lot of buffers, which should be fantastic with investment opportunity. And once we get our king goober, this should be fantastic, and I do kind of want to actually go for tarn blue. That way if we stack up a bunch of power, we should be in a fantastic spot. We're also going to add in these purple amethysts into our king's crown because that is going to reduce your opponent's healing even further because this increases the effects of gemstones by 50 percent so it should be awesome now we did want to grab this box of riches but unfortunately i don't think we can actually fit it in for now we're going to move on so our bedroom is going to decrease our stamina consumption of our weapons by 10 percent which should help us out a little bit but obviously our opponent is going to be turbo stacking a lot of heat but it's not looking too bad for us actually and awesome. And then once we get our King Goobert, we should be in a fantastic spot. And we could honestly go for double King Gooberts. Should we actually go for it? Let's go ahead and try it anyway. Let's grab this for now. We'll slot Goobert in this position. We could also grab... Honestly, a pineapple for some stacking spikes, which should be pretty darn good. I'm still going to roll, however. I'm still going to roll. Now that is also pretty darn good. To the point where I'm going to sell this little blue gemstone to add this in. Now we're doing exactly what to craft it up. We're going to rock on with this situation for now. Now we should get a ton of healing from our King Gubert along with our normal Guberts. We should be able to stack up quite a bit of us with a Shaman Mask. We should be able to stack up our max life with investment opportunity. However, we are going to need a little bit of mana generation. So maybe Blueberry. Maybe even Mana Orb. That way we can get to the invulnerability with a King Crown. With a King Gubert. But not too bad overall. So our damage right now is pretty bad. Our heals, not looking too bad. Could be better though. Well, let's keep moving for now. Now that's Dragon Step, which I'm not exactly going to go for. That's Hardwood, which I don't exactly want to go for. That's Bar the Moon, which I don't exactly want to go for either. So I think our best opportunity is just to actually roll. Which is super unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now we're going to grab our Pineapple, slot in this position for right now. It's not super ideal. That's also a big red ruby. Which would give us a lot of life steal. But unfortunately, can't take it as right now. I actually do want to grab this. Because I do actually want to go for turn blue. But unfortunately, I think we're going to have to wait around to actually... I think we're actually going to have to wait around to actually craft it up, unfortunately. Because I don't exactly want to sell any of our gemstones. Even this little topaz is going to help our stamina a little bit better. So unfortunately, we're going to have to wait around. Because with a turn blue, we should be able to stack up a lot of max life. We should be able to scale up a lot of power. For our Falcon Blade. And it should be awesome overall. We should be able to stack up quite a lot of spikes. Which should be awesome. The problem is, we are going to need a World Pringer still. But not too bad. And we do want his Blueberries. We do want our Rogue Potion. We're going to roll. That is Prismatic Orb. Do we actually want it? We'll be stacking up buffs first. We'll be kind of nice. That's also Cheese. Which you do want to craft up Cheese Goobert. That way we could potentially scale up our max life even more. So are we going to go for double King Gobert or are we going to go for Cheese Gobert? I think we're actually going to go for Cheese Gobert right now. Which means we're going to grab this protective purse, we're going to grab our cheese. We're going to roll. That's also a banana which we actually do desperately, desperately need. Also. But unfortunately we're going to rock on with the setup. We're still going to get our Prismatic Orb. But we'll see how this goes for now. Once we get our Cheese Gobert, we should be able to stack up a lot of max life. Which just gives random buffs, which if it does give him power, it is going to stack up our max life even further. With our blueberries in, we should get our invulnerability, which is going to give us more max life with investment opportunity. And honestly, this build is coming together quite nicely.
And we did get a time bloom, but we're gonna grab this bit of storage for now. We're gonna grab a banana, slot it in this side for now, add a blueberry down below, add a pineapple in like so. Time bloom is gonna have to slot Melly in this position. Now that's another bad rune, which we could take to reduce her stamina even more. Which we are going to take. Now it does mean we can't get a prismatic orb, so we're going to roll once again. That's a big red ruby, which will be fantastic for a falcon blade. And we could also have a falcon blade in this position also. But it's still going to be doing a lot of work. Now I'm actually going to sell this green gem, because I do want this regular ruby. We're going to slot in a like so. Unfortunately, we're going to have to add a dragon's glamour down below. We're going to have to rock with this setup for now then. And we'll see. Now with two bad runes, we kind of want to be in our Dragon's Glamour that way during Battle Rage. We barely take any damage. We're going to rock on with this setup. So we can turbo stack a lot of Empower. Stack up a crazy amount of spikes. Get a ton of healing. Stack up a bunch of max life. Let's go Turbo Nuts with our setup right now. And honestly, it's looking pretty darn good. And we could honestly take this to be inflicting a little bit of frost on top of everything. While it's stacking up a little bit of mana first. Let's grab it for now. Let's grab our Prismatic Orb. Let's roll. That's also something fantastic, which we do actually want really, really badly. We're going to sell this though, so we can actually grab it a little bit more storage. We're actually going to reserve the Spike Collar for now, but... With our setup, I do kind of want... Our armor slotted in. I did want our Pineapple in a better position, but it's going to have to be this way for now. We have our Prismatic Orb in this spot, which is looking pretty good. We're actually going to take it out. Place it in like so. Because then we can actually add in our... Armor like so. But unfortunately, we're gonna rock on with the setup. For now. Yeah. And we'll see. Can we deal with Friend of Fire Flame with investment opportunity? They're gonna be stacking up a lot of life. They also have a ton of cheeses. They're actually gonna go turbo with their life stacking. However, they're also dealing quite a bit of damage, but as you can see, we're also turbo stacking our life too. We're not as fast as they are. But awesome. We're stacking up a lot of other buffs also though. We'll also reduce our opponent's healing by quite a bit. Which is going to matter quite significantly. As you can see, our DPS right now is just about 47 DPS. With 35 healing per second. Along with 15 max health gained per second. Which is pretty darn good. But I do believe we can actually make it a lot crazier. So let's go to move on and see what we can do. We can also grab a second pair of blueberries. We can grab this for now. We're going to roll once. We can move our goober down below. We can add a blueberries down in this position. We can add in a little forging hammer. In here, we can add this back in. We can grab a second Dragon's Glamour to keep ourselves alive. Turn Battle Ridge. Which I don't think we're going to grab. We could grab another set of Blueberries. I don't think we want. We could craft up, honestly, Capitalist Comfort, which... I'm thinking we're actually going to do. But right now, we should have a hell of a lot of healing reduction. Let's roll once again. And we could potentially grab this, because then we can just be removing our opponent's buffs. Along with reducing our opponent's healing. Which should be pretty darn good. So we're definitely going to take that. We're going to be putting on our Falcon Blade. So every time our Falcon Blade actually attacks, it is going to be removing our opponent's buffs. Which should be awesome. Now it's going to be a lot of gold. But we'll see. Our opponent is actually going to have a ton of HP. We're also not dealing as much damage as I'd like to. Unfortunately, we do still have that Battle Rage. We're taking a lot less damage. We're stacking up our buffs. But is it going to be enough? Unfortunately, our stamina is going to be still problematic. And it's just going to fall short, unfortunately. Now, if we did have a Warbertinger, actually, that's going to be our main goal right now. We will be in a much, much fantastic spot, to be quite honest. Because if we're not hitting, we're not getting heals. We're not dealing our damage, we're not scaling up. Unfortunately. Let's slot that in for now. Let's roll. Let's roll again. Now, that's another Prismatic Orb. That's also another Gubert, which would be kind of awesome. Let's sell this. Let's roll. That's... Okay, another perfect amethyst. We could literally be removing our opponent's buffs like crazy. We could also grab a cheese for stack of max life. Well, let's sell this roll once more. And unfortunately, we're going to have to reserve this letter bag, but stamina being a huge issue is super concerning. If you come across shields, we're going to be in big trouble. Now, with a perfect amethyst, if we can remove our opponent's power, we will be in a fantastic spot. We did get our heals. They're actually stacking up a crazy amount of power, but honestly, we're bringing it back and it's looking quite awesome, actually. Really fantastic. Our build is coming together quite nicely. But let's keep going for now. Now, actually, we can take this badge rune. 
which is going to help our stamina even just a little bit more. We're going to grab this. Now we could be putting this in our King Goober to prevent that healing altogether. We're going to sell this. We do want this little Topaz. We're going to sell this also. Now we could sell our Corrupted Crystal to be quite honest, which I'm thinking we're going to do. We can grab this and add in our little Topaz. Now to the point where we're actually going to sell our Box of Riches to actually grab this Badger Rune. That should help sort out our stamina. Now, unfortunately, selling a Crypto Crystal, this cap actually decides to show up, but we're not going to take it. We're going to move on. And we'll see from here. Now, our stamina should be in a much, much better spot with all these badger runes. We'll just have to see. Our opponent is going to be scaling up a lot of damage for themselves with that Empower. Also, going to have a lot of damage mitigation with that Dragon Skull Armor. So, we could be in a lot of trouble. However, we do get an vulnerability. We do answer back. And awesome. Really, really, really fantastic setup. A really, really fantastic setup because we have damage mitigation, we have anti heal, we have invulnerability, we remove buffs, we stack up max life, we stack up our damage. So, kind of covering ourselves from a lot of different angles, which is not too bad. And our stamina throughout this fight was way better, that's for sure, which is extremely awesome. Well, let's keep moving for now. Now, that's that Wolpertinger, which we are 150,000% gonna grab. We're gonna slot it in, we're gonna add our badger rune into our armor for now, then. We're gonna roll once. We're going to roll twice. That's a rogue potion, which we don't exactly want anymore. Let's roll again, and that's another bad rune, which we are definitely, definitely going to grab. We're going to move on with the setup. And we'll see. Now our opponent is rocking that useless leaf. They're going to have a lot of damage. They could burst this down immediately. With that mana thirst. Because they're going to be stacking up a crazy amount of mana. But we'll see. We do get our vulnerability. We do heal back up. We are stacking up our damage. We're stacking up spikes. We're stacking up our buffs. And honestly, this is looking pretty darn good. Our opponent's dealing that big, big damage, but we're sustaining them pretty nicely. Rants are back with our damage. And awesome. Really, really fantastic. Because our DPS, honestly, is not really super crazy. But our heals being pretty decent. Our max life, on top of being a hybrid between both, actually providing a lot for us. As for block, non existent, really. Stamina. Not too bad. Because we do get that invulnerability up to three times, which is fantastic. We get stack of max life. Yeah, pretty good. Let's keep moving for now. I'm gonna grab the bad rune. I'm actually gonna grab this storage for now till we roll. That's another spike collar to get that battery for even longer, which I'm gonna grab. Now let's roll once again. That's an elephant rune for a little bit of max life. Which will be kinda awesome. But I think I'm actually going to add in a bad rune into our armor instead of this. For now. Because if we're going to have 4 seconds longer battle rage, these badger runes are going to be pretty darn good. I'm going to roll once. Twice more. And that is a glowing crown, which I would have really, really liked to add to our build, because that would give us vulnerability one more time. It's also going to cleanse a lot of blinds. And it's also going to provide a lot of healing. But we'll see. Is this going to be good enough? Is it going to fall short? We'll just have to see. This is going to be a final setup. Now this bag actually isn't going to do too much. We'll see. Now our opponent is going to have a lot of healing, they also have a ton of armor. And with that shielded, it is going to be eating up a lot more of stamina, so I'm glad we got a Wolpertinger. Now, I wish we kind of had a bad rune still out, because that would help our stamina altogether. But we're going to be stacking up a lot of buffs. Now, we might have actually wanted to keep our little purple Amethyst inside our armor to reduce our opponent's healing even more. But we'll see. They're actually dealing quite a bit of damage with that blood turn, because they've scaled up a lot of buffs. So we could be in trouble. But, however, we stacked up a lot of buffs ourselves. Which should be awesome. That fatigue damage is set in. And actually... This could go either way. However, we've stacked up a certain amount of life. We've stacked up a certain amount of buffs. And we'll see though. So far, it's actually looking pretty darn close, but... Awesome, we managed to pull ahead. Which is really, really awesome. Not gonna lie. Our build came together quite nicely. Building up all around different types of angles. We're definitely, definitely scaling builds because the longer the fight goes on, the longer the fight goes on, the more damage we deal. The problem is, we're going to begin shielded, they're going to be eating up our stamina like crazy. And honestly, that investment opportunity, not providing as much max HP as the top is going to do, but still not too bad overall. Just giving us two gold extra round. Really, really, really fantastic. But anyways, we're going to leave here for now. Just want to say thanks for watching. We did survive three lives left. Super fun builds. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here for now. Just want to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, or even consider subscribing. And I hope to keep looking for the next one. See you next time.